We are waiting for our respiratory appointment. Poppy's had a cough for a while now and she's been on amoxicillin and a course of Bactrim and the treatment dose. Hi, hi, Hunter. You've got my face. Yeah. You've got my face. Yeah. Poppy, whose face have you got? Do it on Sky. Sky. No, the Sky's not doing anything. I've still got Hunter's face. Hunter, move your lips. That's a bit of a hard one. Are you? Is oh, it going? You want me to do it? Yeah. All the right things, yeah. right? and we're doing as much as we can to support you and to do and, and systematically work through it yeah. so that we do the best for Poppy. Okay. And if we have to do a biopsy at some point, we do it. But we don't do it too soon in case we can sort it out without that. We, none, none of these things come without risk. Yeah. So we try and just work through it with the least amount that we can do. So we are day 77 um, post transfer. And we are actually back in the hospital. Poppy got readmitted yesterday. Um, she had a CAT scan and bronoscopy and they found something in her um, lungs. I don't know how to say it. Um, but I've got some research here that I'm going to look at and read. Um, this one, this one, and then this one. So I've just got some research here because um, what I've found is that this could be a symptom of graft first host and it's actually, um, so I just want to stay on top of things. I don't want to get ahead of myself as well, but while I'm in here, I might as well do some reading and just um, see what, um, 
what it's all about because I don't know anything about it and I'm very um, upset and um, confused I guess because we were so close to being day 100 and then we can go back home perhaps um, I set myself up and for failure I guess I'm not too sure but we're back here now so I'm gonna um It's your baby. It's a baby. It's my baby. It's your favourite. So Poppy is having butter sandwich in triangle for her um, dinner. And <coughs> this is where we are. This is our room. Poppy has been visited by a couple of people today. She's um, seen the physio morning and afternoon. And then her teacher um, popped by, an older teacher um, that we've had only like two times, I think. And um, who else? The dietitian and the BMT nurse. Um, and the doctor just came by and did rounds and we just had a couple of talks about the findings from yesterday. So hopefully we'll get some results back from the um, lab and see if anything needs to change with the medicine um, and hopefully we'll get a bit of a plan moving forward. Definitely um, bummed about being back here, but I am glad that she is actually back here because the cough has been persistent and now we're, we're here and we can um, hopefully get some answers in a couple of days. I just have to jump on and do a quick update. So Poppy has been here for two nights, three days. Um, they said that it's um, bronchiostasis, I believe. So um, our doctor saw that on the CT scan, and I think there's some pictures because I did. I was looking through research and just to see you know, what, what was going on, but there's it's like there's some black dots or something that are larger than their, they're the airways and they're larger than the blood vessels in the lungs. So um, she's on antibiotics, nothing's grown in the lab for the bacteria. So we're waiting to see what comes back from that um, to see if we need to change her antibiotics or keep them the same. Um, and then we'll know more over the weekend and move into next week. And what else? She's been having physio twice a day, respiratory physio, so it's really been working. The exercises that they've been doing, which is great. Um, so it's just a bit of a setback for us, but just have to deal with how things are going. Poppy's in good spirits anyways. This is so close to that 100 days, so it's a bit of a setback for us, but we roof over our head, food, and we're just, um, I'm really thankful for all the support here today. It's been really, really good. Um, just adjusting, I guess, moving, moving all the, the activities or schedules that I've had. Um, I never thought about planning Christmas, but I've hoped that we'd be back home before Christmas, but we'll just see um, what we do there. Um, I was a bit concerned about this diagnosis um, because when you do Google, it says, permanent and lots of information there but it's um within kids it kids is reversible and um yeah so staying on top of it i guess and the physio and, and the antibiotics Good job. Yep, and then twist it and hold this one. So to bend it so it doesn't. Okay. So 
so Poppy was released from 11B and we now have hospital at home nurses come and give her her IV antibiotics, keftriaxone, and the physios come out as well twice a day. This is really... This is really amazing and such a good support that they have at the hospital. Um, Poppy was able to go home and, and um, catch up with her cousins that were visiting her and spending time back at the long-term accommodation we've been staying at. So it was really lovely to be back at home um, and still getting the support that she needs for her. So Poppy is a T9 days post transplant and um, I just thought I'd do an update of her um, nighttime medicine. So she's on the cyclovir still. just half a tablet and I'll just fill that up with some um, filtered water and just to make it into like a paste. She's still on fluconazole as well, so seven mils of that. Yeah. And then she's also on Urso. a new bottle so I have to do I have to do a bottle that I just leave it like this to be honest um there we go okay so the old one and what else? Then she's on Bactrim four mils. And then of course she's on a cyclosporin, so syringe. Lost the head on the side of the side. Got it. Got it. Put these 
gloves on. So I'll put it in this syringe or I'll put it in a small syringe but I don't have any of those small ones so I just use this one. So I'm just measuring that. She's on 60 mils. So I could spray. Morning and night. And she's been on that dose for a while so she'll be staying on that. I think it's minimum nine months that they stay on the cyclostone. We will see. So, here we go. That's it. And just shaking it. That's good. All of them, and then we'll just do a flush, small flush here. I only just do like a small flush. Um, so that's what we've got. She's got fluconazole, which is half a tablet, and then the um, oh, sorry, the the Zyklovir, which is half a tablet. Fluconazole, um, Urso, Bactrim, Cyclosporin, and then a flush. She is actually on um, an IV antibiotic, um, but I don't, um, I don't administer that. There's actually a nurse that comes to our house and, and administers that. Yeah. What are you doing? With Poppy no longer on the ketriaxone and she's no longer needing blood transfusions, we booked in to get the CVL removed. <laughs> Say the little cheese. The little cheese. My teeth. Little cheese. My little cheese. Say bye bye puppy plugs. Bye bye puppy plugs. Mm -hmm.
done with surgery. Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit. 